From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. It's been another great fall week here across parts of central Pennsylvania. Plenty of sunshine today. The fall colors are finally starting to show here across Happy Valley. Those are only going to get better as we head over the next couple of weeks. A few fair weather cumulus out there, but really temperatures have been pretty fantastic at 70 degrees now here in State College. A dew point of just 50 degrees, so it's feeling really comfortable out there. Maybe a light breeze out of the west at best this afternoon. So once again, a really fantastic day has shaped up. It's been in the upper 60s and low 70s across all of the Commonwealth, a warm 75 in Pittsburgh, 70 in Franklin. We've been in the middle 60s across north central PA at 64 degrees in Bradford and 69 degrees in Scranton. But even that, you cannot complain here for the middle of October. A few fair weather cumulus have been across the ridge tops today. Even those, there's not really too many of them. Clouds will be increasing though tonight. We'll take a look at our next disturbance here. It's across the upper Midwest, a weak cold front will be tracking to the south and east over the next day or so, bringing a slight chance of showers tomorrow. Not looking like a washout, but that definitely do have that chance. We've been really nice weather midweek. We'll have a weak low pressure track to our north, so showers will be likely all across the state tomorrow. Maybe even a rumble of thunder is possible. And then that will be moving through late in the day on Friday, and then we'll have breezy and cool weather locked in place for Friday night and then for the football game on Saturday. So it's going to be dry for Saturday. This front will clear the region, but it may just be a little bit cooler than we've had the rest of this week. So there will be a few showers out there tomorrow morning. Here's 8 a.m., a few showers rolling through the area, so you may need that jacket even if you're out for that 8 a.m. class. By lunchtime, a few more showers roll through, and the last round of showers and maybe a rumble of thunder will come through the region during the evening or early evening hours. So this is right after the homecoming game or the homecoming parade rather. That's at six o'clock. Looks like we will be dry. The bulk of the rain will have come through, but there will be some breezy conditions, maybe a few still spotty showers behind this cold front. So you will still need that jacket if you are out watching the parade tomorrow evening. Those clouds will burn off though once we get into the day on Saturday, and it'll be a really great afternoon. Tonight, 55 degrees, increasing clouds after midnight, a passing shower late, especially towards dawn. And then for tomorrow, a few occasional showers. Friday night, some showers ending early. We'll be dropping down, though, into the upper 40s. We'll start with a few clouds on Saturday, but once we get to game time, it's really going to turn into a nice day. Those clouds will begin to burn off. Temperatures will warm from the 50s into the low 60s, and we'll have plenty of sunshine by the time we get to the fourth quarter. Here's your seven-day forecast from the Penn State campus weather service those showers tomorrow we dry out on saturday we'll get a bit warmer sunday into monday if we do have any rain chances it's going to be a weak frontal system that'll come through monday night into tuesday right now we are leaving things dry but we'll have to continue to watch that forecast over the next couple of days the middle of next week though looking just as great as this one so really another great forecast in store from the penn state campus weather service and for seen it i have been student meteorologist michael spagnola have a great weekend